Alright guys, I have a little jewelry haul for you guys today. Um, I actually have two jewelry hauls. I think I'm going to do two separate videos. I tend to notice that when my videos are shorter, they do better, at least through the YouTube algorithm. Definitely comment down below. You guys can tell me your preference, longer or shorter videos. It all came in a box. They all have their own little plastic sleeve. You know, they're not like crunched up against each other. Um, it was just a random Instagram ad. The stuff looked really cute and it was cheap. So I'm not sure if it's like the greatest quality, but I'm fine with that. I know there are people that have to wear real jewelry because they take showers with their their jewelry i don't i take off my jewelry the second i get home for the most part so um you know that's not something that bothers me um and when it's cheaper you know i don't mind so much uh if i'm gonna pay high end then yes i want quality but for cheaper pieces like this i'm you know it's fine with me um this is did i say it was a random instagram ad i think i did it was accentculture.com and their instagram is the same name it's accent culture and i thought it was really cute they include a little thank you note and it says thank you for your purchase i hope these handmade pieces have many adventures I hope you and these handmade pieces have many adventures together. XO Olivia. So some of them were sets and some were individual pieces. So I'm actually wearing one of them right now. Just I wanted to show you guys kind of the length on them. And I absolutely love it. You could do any initial. You could do the heart, no heart. You could do multiple initials. So if you wanted to do, you know, like your first name and last name. If you want to do your first name, a heart, and your lovers. This would be a really good idea too. Like if you want to give to the mother of your children with the initials of your children's name. I love the length of it. My style has changed so much. I don't know if it's because of COVID or because I'm getting into, excuse me, into my 30s. I will be 30 in like six months, which is kind of scary. But um, I used to only wear like long, chunky necklaces. I used to hate short necklaces. And now I absolutely love dainty jewelry. I love shorter necklaces. I love layering necklaces, having all different lengths going down. Um, And I used to only wear blouses. I used to like never catch me dead in a t-shirt. I used to just be like super fancy. And now I am like total opposite. I'm a total t-shirt girl but I will dress up my t-shirt. I still want to look put together. I still want to feel like I'm in style. So I will wear it with really cute jeans, some nice shoes, a blazer, a cardigan, throw on some jewelry. Um, like I said, I don't know if it's because of COVID and just wanting to be more comfortable or because I haven't worn a real bra in a long time. You know, now I'm sticking mostly to bralettes. Um, <laughs> and, uh, or if it's, like I said, my age. So if you guys notice that about yourselves, if you think it's your age or COVID, definitely comment down below. I'm really curious to see what you guys have to say. So let's get into the jewelry. Obviously, I already showed you this piece. Some of it came standalone like these, and some of them came in sets. So I'm wearing one of the sets right here. Um, don't mind my nails. If you guys have seen some of my videos, you guys know I'm a nail biter. I'm really trying hard to break that habit. I even use that nasty nail polish that makes your nails taste gross. All of quarantine and I still bit my nails. I've been doing it since I was a toddler. This one is like all these cool geometric shapes. I love stuff like this. It's my jam. The second one looks like plain gold, but it's not. There's a little heart that keeps sliding to the back. If I had put it tighter, it probably wouldn't do that. Um, it could definitely go tighter, but I like my bracelets to be a little loose. I hate when I have a bracelet like right on my wrist. So I don't mind just having to move it a little bit, but it's not that bad. Like you guys can see it's, it's, yeah, see, I had to like really shake it. Um, and then this little piece is actually a pink string, but it has this gold piece. I thought it was so cute. So this was actually a four piece set. The fourth piece I'm not a big fan of, but it was so cheap. So I was willing to get it anyway. I was like, you know what? I can always give this piece away. So this is it right here. And the reason I don't like it is because it is like straight on my wrist. Um, I do have some stretch bracelets. I'm not going to say I don't wear them, but they're not straight on my wrist. I tend to wear the ones that are a little bit looser because I do not like when they're straight on my wrist like this. But it is very beautiful. It just has a little starfish. And you can see the touches of orange and yellow and pink and blue and gray definitely very spring but you can tell it's not like the highest quality because like you can see the knot right there but like i said i don't need crazy good quality especially when i'm paying really cheap i got tons of pieces you guys are gonna see and i think it was 50 dollars because i think i had to spend 50 for free shipping and there was like a code and i think it literally went to like 51 bucks so that was one set and they all come in there not not each piece the set itself so all five 
I'm all four pieces came in like this plastic bag and this is what's inside so it's really cute if you want to give like as a gift it just says their website accentculture.com and then it says for someone special and at the bottom it says handmade in LA handmade with love it's like a heart in Los Angeles California so the next piece is a four piece set this is the only one that's the lobster claw and you know it has options of sizes like i said i like mine loose and this one has a bit of an arrow theme to it so you can see there's an arrow there the rest are cuffs so you can see the arrow theme going through this one you can see the little arrow heads in the pink and i could mix and match this would look really cute with the pink string over here but let's just all put it on this wrist so you can see how they are as a set so that is that right there together and then there are two other pieces this i really like this bedazzled like circle in the middle and then you close it up like this so let's put that one on and this one does stretch but like i said i don't it's not the highest quality so you got to be gentle i don't want to like end up breaking it but if it does break like i said it was relatively cheap so let's get this clasp on so I can show you, but there you go, what it looks like. So there you go. That's the three. And then the fourth piece is this knot, which I really, really love. And it's two different golds. I mean, obviously it's the same shade of gold, but this one is like a smooth gold. And this one is like a textured gold, which I think you guys can tell on the camera. I know I'm looking at it and I can tell. And then this one, you kind of got to stretch a little bit too and just pop it on your wrist quick and easy and so i don't know if i'd wear all these pieces together but that is that set that came the next thing so cute is another customized piece i got the t because my name is taylor obviously you guys can tell from my instagram name you get that oh this one's different Instead of for someone special, it says, may your heart be brave, your mind be fierce, and your spirit free. That is so cute. I could see myself even like keeping these, maybe just like taking this off and this off. Because I do journal, I do plan, so that would be really cute. So we have another little cuff, we have the knot, and we have the initial. Again, these came in, did I say this? There was an option for like rose gold, silver, regular gold, one initial, two initials, the knot, a heart. So you can literally customize this in so many different ways. Um, I liked the knot. I'm into knots. Obviously, I mentioned that when I got the knot cuff. So let me take some of these off so my wrist isn't as full so I can show you guys. And I like obviously it doesn't match my necklace per se because my necklace is silver but i did end up getting a gold necklace as well so it'll match that one but you guys can see right there super cute so this is the necklace and i think that's it yeah so this is the necklace right here same thing it says may your heart be brave your mind fierce and your spirit free and it's a little different from the one i'm wearing because it's on a round circle instead of it just being the t so let me just open this up for you guys so i can show you so <laughs> the t that makes me feel like i'm spilling the tea so this is it right here so i decided to go with the three options so i got the t the r for my initials and i got the heart because i thought the heart was super duper pretty oh my god i want to show you there you go see and it is the same length as the one i'm wearing so i'm not going to put it on because it's going to be a little bit of a struggle for me because of not having a nail i'm sure you guys know if you wear necklaces with lobster claws you usually use your thumbnail to hold it back and i don't have a thumbnail so a lot of times i i can usually get it on my own it takes a few tries it's a little bit of a struggle but a lot of times i do end up asking my boyfriend for help but guys definitely check out accent culture um they had a lot of really cute stuff, a lot of really cute customizable stuff. They had all three color options, like I said, rose gold, gold, and silver. Uh, and I ended up picking up these pair of earrings as well. It's just a little gold heart. So I thought the gold heart earrings with this gold TR heart necklace with this gold T bangle would be so cute. Um, 
And then I was just like, oh, I need a hit. I think the one I saw in the ad was this one. And then when I saw they had the necklace, they had the matching earrings. I was like, this is so cute. And then I saw the little like five piece sets really cheap. So I just ended up picking up a few things because I love putting an outfit together with jewelry um so like i said i am going to have a second video it's going to be what my boyfriend gave me for valentine's day so if you guys like jewelry definitely consider subscribing hit the notification bell so you're notified when it uploads if you guys love jewelry definitely leave the uh a like on the video it just helps with the youtube algorithm if you want to help me out uh then like i said definitely comment down below how do you feel about like you know higher end versus higher quality jewelry are you someone who showers with your jewelry so you need everything to be real gold or real silver what's your favorite rose gold silver or um gold um i know i've always told my boyfriend if you're once i you do want to get me an engagement ring either do white gold or rose gold because um i like gold but i don't know i don't know if it's something i would want to wear every single day for the rest of my life i like touches of gold here and there but i am actually more of a silver rose gold person which is weird to say because i got a lot of gold in this i used to never wear gold like i said taste change now i'm definitely more open to gold um and maybe that's why i'm kind of getting more gold pieces because i already have a lot of silver pieces but i don't have a lot of gold but for something permanent like a an engagement ring a wedding ring i'm definitely leaning towards white gold or rose gold leave all your comments down below with your opinions i love um interacting with you guys but that is it for this video guys be safe